Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today we will solve some problems on linear models from the Indian Statistical Service exam 2019 and 2018. Okay. So let's start from the first problem from 2019 question number one. As we can see that here expectation of y1 is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2. So this is question number 1. And expectation of y2 is also theta 1 plus theta 2. Or we can say that 0 into theta 3. Then expectation of y3 is also proceeding in this way. So as we know that expectation of y curl equal to x theta curl from the definition of linear model okay so this is known to us now applying this we can get the value of capital x so capital x will be the coefficients of theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 okay so from the first line so let's say from this line 1 1 and 0 so the coefficient of theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 and from the next line from the next line it will be 1 1 and 0 again from the third line 1 0 and 1 and from the fourth line 1 0 and 1 so this is basically the capital x now we know that We know that L transpose theta curl, so L transpose theta curl is estimable, is estimable if L curl transpose belongs to row space of capital X. So we know that. So L transpose theta curl is estimable if L transpose belongs to the row space of capital X. And this is true by Gauss Markov theorem. Now, now we know that any vector that belongs to the row space of capital X will be of the form like L transpose will be of the form A curl transpose X. Okay as any vector which belongs to the row space of capital X will be of the form A curl transpose X. So obviously L curl transpose will be of the form A curl transpose capital X. Okay. Now we can write as L curl transpose as L1, L2, L3 as L curl transpose is a row vector. Then A curl transpose assuming that A1, A2, A3 and A4 be the values of equal transpose and capital X now we can solve this as so a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 and then a1 plus a2 and at last a3 plus a4 okay now this quantity will be l1 this quantity will be L2 and this will be L3. Okay. Now from the given conditions in question, we can see that the first option which is number 1, L1 equal to L2 plus L3 which satisfy our problem. So L1 equal to L2 plus L3. So we can say that option 1 is the correct option. So now in the next question, question number 2, we are given a linear model, let us say y curl equal to some x beta curl plus let us say epsilon curl and we are given all the options you can see that in the question. So here and we have to verify the options and we have to find the options which is not correct. Okay. So now we can see that the hat matrix capital H equal to 
x into x transpose x the whole inverse into x transpose and we know that hat matrix is symmetric and idempotent so that means h into h will be equal to h and symmetric and idempotent matrix has a property that rank of h will be equal to trace of h now trace of h will be like trace of x into x transpose x whole inverse into x transpose okay so from the property of trace if we take this as a and this as b so then trace of ab will be equal to trace of ba so trace of x transpose x x transpose x whole inverse okay now if i determine the dimension of x transpose x which will be p cross p so obviously this quantity will give a identity matrix of order p so trace of ip and which will be equal to p so you can see that the rank of the hat matrix h will be exactly p so the option a is correct and option b is also correct we also always know that the hii the diagonal elements of the hat matrix always in between 0 to 1 so option a and b are also correct now we verify the variance of y hat now variance of y hat which is option c is variance of y hat means x beta hat and we know that x into variance of beta hat into x transpose now variance of beta hat is sigma square into x transpose x whole inverse okay so x x transpose now this quantity sigma square now x into x transpose x whole inverse into x transpose will be the value of h so variance of y hat is exactly sigma square h so option a b and c all these are correct so the option 4 is not correct and you can verify the option which is not correct so option d which is not correct option and why it is not correct we know that as you can verify that expectation of equal minus zero equal or equal minus zero equal transpose will give the dispersion of equal okay and which will be expectation of equal into equal transpose now what is the value of equal in terms of the y curl so equal now note that equal will be equal to y curl minus y curl hat and y curl which is x y curl hat will be x into x transpose x whole inverse into x transpose y curl and which is h y curl so we know that so this will be i minus h y curl so equal is i minus h y curl so now putting this value in expectation of equal into equal transpose we can get the value like expectation of i minus h y curl y curl transpose i minus h transpose okay now we know that i minus h so as h is a hat matrix then i minus h is also symmetric and idempotent okay so that means i minus h and dispersion of y curl as expectation of y curl into y curl transpose will give the dispersion of y curl into i minus h transpose now dispersion of y curl is exactly sigma square into i so sigma square i minus h into i minus h as i minus h is a symmetric matrix so obviously i minus h transpose will be equal to i minus h and it is i important also so sigma square into i minus h okay so obviously we can see that the covariance between the ei and ej cannot be equal to sigma square into hij so hence okay. so option d is not correct so let's go to the next problem which is question number three In question number three we can see that we are given two models and in the concept of linear model we know that if we fit a higher degree polynomial to the data set then rss will decrease okay so we have given two rss value so first e for the first model and e star for the second model 
okay so obviously the model with a higher degree will have lower rss value okay so that means e will obviously greater than equal to e star as e star having the higher degree polynomial okay so we can also say that as the degree of the polynomial model increases the predicted points fall closer and closer to the actual data points because their increased ability to accommodate individual variations resulting from noise in the data set now let's go to question number 4 now in question number 4 we can see that the linear model is given so like this the expectation of y1 will be beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 expectation of y2 will also be beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 expectation of y3 is beta 1 minus beta 2 so you can write as 0 into beta 3 and expectation of y4 is also beta 1 minus beta 2 plus 0 into beta 3 okay as we know that so as we know that expectation of y curl equal to x beta curl and this is true so we can see that capital x so now capital x will be the coefficients of the beta in the model so it will be like 1 1 1 then 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 so which is a 4 cross 3 matrix now we have given e1 and e2 in the question so you can see that e1 and e2 in the question where e1 and e2 having expectations so like expectation of e1 and which can be written as expectation of l1 curl transpose y curl where l1 curl transpose is 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 0 and 0 and expectation of so this is exactly equal to 0 and expectation of e2 and why this is 0 as we can see that expectation of y1 and expectation of y2 are equal so obviously expectation of e1 will be equal to 0 and similarly expectation of e2 is also 0 now it can also be written as expectation of l2 transpose y curl where l2 transpose equal to 0 0 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2. So this is these are the options. Now expectation of e1 and expectation of e2 exactly equal to zero. That means e1 and e2 are the error functions. So e1 and e2 are error functions. Now if e1 and e2 are error functions, then l1 curl transpose and l2 curl transpose these two vectors. So then l1 curl transpose and l2 curl transpose will belongs to the error space okay so it belongs to the error space as this contains no information regarding the y curl okay so obviously this belongs to the error space so then the rss or sse will be e1 square plus e2 square okay as l1 curl transpose and l2 curl transpose are orthogonal to each other now we know that the unbiased estimator of sigma square or unbiased estimator of sigma square will be sse or we can say that rss by n minus rank of capital x So if we see the matrix capital X, which is like one 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 and one minus one zero, so this so rank of capital X will be two. So you can easily verify that. So that means S S E by n minus two 
will be the unbiased estimator for sigma square now what is n the value of n is 4 as we have given y1 y2 y3 and y4 so obviously 4 minus 2 so the answer will be e1 square plus e2 square by 4 minus 2 which is 2 so the correct option is option b now let's go to a question from 2018 iss problem paper 2 question number 1 so this is similar to a 2019 problem as we can see that in question number 1 the linear model is given from question number 1 we can say that y curl equal to x beta curl plus e curl so capital x will be the coefficient matrix of the beta so the coefficients of the betas so here capital x will be so if we see the coefficients from the left side in the question so beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 so the coefficients are 1 1 and 0 then from y2 the coefficients of beta 1 is 1 beta 2 is 0 and beta 3 is 1 and beta 1 beta 2 will be 1 1 and 0 okay. so obviously capital x is a 3 cross 3 matrix so now we have given a parametric function lambda 1 lambda 2 so lambda 1 beta 1 lambda 2 beta 2 and lambda 3 beta 3 so the linear combination of beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 so we have to estimate this quantity so now we know that lambda curl transpose beta curl is estimable if lambda curl transpose belongs to row space of capital X okay and any vector which belongs to the row space of capital X can be written in the form a curl transpose X so that means lambda curl transpose can be written as a curl transpose x okay for some a curl transpose so now let lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 be the value of lambda curl transpose and a curl transpose be a1 a2 and a3 and capital x will be 1 1 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 so then we can say that lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 will be exactly equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 then a1 plus a3 and then a2 okay. now this quantity is lambda 1 this is lambda 2 and this is lambda 3 so from the options we can verify so first option let's say in the question lambda 1 plus lambda 3 equal to lambda 2 but if we verify that lambda 1 plus lambda 3 which is not equal to lambda 2 so these two so if we sum these two obviously this is not equal to lambda 2 so first option is incorrect so then go to the second option which is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 equal to lambda 3 so obviously lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is not equal to lambda 3 then the third option which is lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to lambda 1 so obviously from this we can say that lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to lambda 1. So option C is the correct option. So I have solved 5 questions today on linear models. The other problems on this topic from ISS papers will be solved in the next videos. So see the description for more details and for any queries mail me at my given mail id in the description. Okay, so stay tuned, subscribe the channel, goodbye.